time, everybody clap your hands. Left. Hi. Uh, do you mind if I check my backpack? Oh, sure, I have a hair tie. I do. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday. Nope, not Tuesday. I always do that when I start my vlog and I pick a random date. Today is Monday, January 6th. Well, I know, I know. I'm super guilty. My Christmas is still up. That is okay because you know what? We work on our time. What I really want to do is I want to make sure that I go through all of my Christmas totes and stuff and get rid of things that I haven't used because I feel like two consecutive years in a row, I haven't even like touched some of my decorations. I just kind of got over them. I need to go through that. And once that process is done is when I'm going to start putting away my stuff rather than doing it right now. But for right now, I'm going to head over to the church we, there's going to be a bunch of us that are going to be, I don't even know if there's going to be a bunch of us, but a majority of us are going to be at the church putting away Christmas decorations and stuff like that at the church. Hi, Bubby. <laughs> and Ryan is actually already there. This is something that we actually don't have to do, but because we go to that church, we feel like it's something, it's not something that we have to do, but because it, we go to that church, it's actually something that we want to do because it's our church. Silas is not gonna go with us. He's actually going to be with my sister-in-law. So I'm gonna drop him off. Yes, he's gonna be with my sister-in-law and the twins are, they've got their helmets and their hoverboards. So they're gonna ride their hoverboards while Ryan and I are helping other people. We're just gonna go and plug it and see what we can do. I do have to be back by 1.30 because my sister-in-law has work at two o'clock. So um, either I'm gonna go pick him up from her house, from her work or whatever, but I have to be done by 1.30. So today's not a work day, today's a volunteer day because <laughs> we're grateful for the church we're a part of and we just wanna go help. Can I see justice? Now does it feel better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got one, two dudes putting on helmets. Ryan's already here. I think I've already told you guys that. Silas just got dropped off. I'll close this. And they're ready to go. Usually when they come to the church, they like ride all up and down here, but there's a lot of people, not a lot, but there's a, more people here today than there has been when the boys have been coming here. So that's the street, right? I mean, that's the parking lot. You're not gonna be in the parking lot. So just sidewalks. Sidewalks are usually a different color. You see that? <clears throat> so. Okay, and then you guys can be in this area over here and on that sidewalk. Do not go in the parking lots at all and stay together. I'm probably gonna be in the sanctuary, okay? Have fun, bubs. Your what? Oh, it's okay if it's open. Nothing will happen. There's lots of people here. Oh my gosh, most of the stuff is out already. I'm running on colored people time. This is the damage all of the garland and stuff is causing. We're making progress. Two totes here. Got a ladder up there. Christmas trees are coming down. And then project back here. Um uh, well, no, it's with the tree. Yeah. All right, we are done at the church. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I have glitter. I had some of, oh yeah, I have glitter all over me. I can see it when I'm walking. It's insane, let me see. Yeah, believe me, I have glitter all over me. I'm gonna head home now. Silas is still with my sister-in-law, so what am I see about that? And I'm hungry. I have a really high metabolism. I may have told you guys that before, but I have a really, really high metabolism. And if I'm like working and burning calories, I get hungrier. So I'm at this point where I'm jittery. I'm ready to eat. Silas just got home. Sim and mommy just texted and said hello. I told her to text me when she got here and she just texted my sister-in-law. She's like, hello. I gotta go outside and get him. He doesn't want to come home, but he's home because she's gotta go to work. The twins are going to read and do piano lessons really quickly before Silas goes and takes a nap. And we are planning, planning, planning to go to the movies. Yay. 
so I went upstairs to try to get some of this glitter off of me. Well, first I went upstairs to put Silas down for a nap. And then I went to the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I have glitter here and I can tell that I have glitter on my nose and stuff. And I was actually gonna put on some translucent, well I did put on some translucent powder and it didn't do anything. I just didn't wanna look like it was super, super like pale white looking or whatever. So I actually stopped, but I went through like my makeup drawer to see if I can find anything else to get rid of this glitter without having to take my entire face of makeup off. I wasn't successful. However, I found some stop sign red, red stop sign lipstick. Look at that, you guys, that is some red lipstick it was my thing at some point actually you know why i bought it because i saw a youtube video so fyi you guys don't believe everything that you see on youtube but i saw a youtube video that if you put right here if you put red right here and hide your dark circles so i went on a hunt for red lipstick and i i mean can you get any more red than stop signs so i bought it Put it over my both sides, not just one to see if it works or not. Put it on both sides of under my eyelids or right here, whatever this is, right here and right here. Wasn't successful, so I came across it today. So hence, red lipstick, here I am. Still got glitter on my face. Um, The twins actually switched, they flip flopped their, um, one's doing, the other one's doing piano lesson and the other one is reading now. Silas is taking a nap. They're almost, almost, almost done with their reading and piano because Silas went down for a nap. But he's, usually the twins will do 20 minutes of piano, but today I had them do a little bit less of piano. I'll probably have them get back on the piano after we get back with our evening duties and stuff like that. But I really, really, really want Silas to take a nap. So if I'm not mistaken, they've only done 10 minutes of reading and 10 minutes of piano and then the other ones they can do later. Sleep earlier, I um, was gonna wake him up so we can go to the movies. Or not wake him up, I was gonna get him up, but. He fell asleep before you got home, so. You guys, before I had kids, I was told by many people when I was pregnant with the twins and we found out that they were boys, they said, they're gonna eat you out of house and home. Do you remember that, babe? It was getting there. I cut mango for myself. I went back and there's one slice left. Guess who's eating them? <laughs> Jonah always does this, dude, always. <laughs> oh, that's bad lighting but yeah i mean it's not like they can't eat it but here's my thing is that if they want it i'll let them have it but just let me know they want it cut instead of me doing it and going back for more and there's it's, it's not available nobody was even listening to you i told you to hold on did you not hear me my husband's doing the dishes as I'm trying to edit a video. After he got off of work, good job, dude. Good job, dude. Because dishes don't do themselves around here. Apparently, my hair doesn't either. That is not why I picked up this camera. Every single time I pick up my phone to say something, I start running my trap about something else. What I picked it up for was this. If you guys have watched our vlogs for quite some time now, you know that Ryan and I are the commanders for Awana. So being the commander, and even actually before we were commanders, because the Awana clubs at our church, there's a red, like a, what is it called? A registration fee? Is that what you call that, right? Yeah, it costs money to go to Awana. So it's not like an arm and a leg because we want like the kids to learn about God and stuff like that. And we don't want kids to, I don't want to use the word punished. That's but almost like it's new. Um, I don't want the kids to, we don't want the kids to not be able to attend because of money. Before Ryan and I be became commanders, our kids were going as clubbers and we always made it a point to make sure that they knew their verses and stuff like that because you pay for something and you may as well make sure that your kids reap the benefits of it, right? So with that being said, once Ryan and I became commanders for Awana, in case you guys don't know, Awana stands for approved workmen are not ashamed. So now we're commanders and we make it a point for the kids to make sure that they learn their verses because we really encourage every clubber to learn it. So Malachi over here. I won the third book. <clears throat> he's on his last Sparks book and he's doing his, um, it says say all the Old Testament books and um, there's a CD for you to remember and blah, blah, blah. So he's over here saying it. Tell me why. Tell me why. You skipped over your brother. No, I didn't. He goes, no, I didn't. That is not true. I will roll back the camera of this house and I will show you. I'll have you listen to it. Anyway, so, I don't think the camera knows. so he goes to Joel, Amos, Obadiah, 
and then he skips Jonah, and then no. he says Malachi. He didn't say Jonah. No. I mean, you have can one job. He can almost say them all. He's doing good. Go, do it. Oh, you're up. Bobby, you want to know what the surprise is? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Are you ready? Let me see your nose. You have a runny nose? Yeah. No? Mwah. We? Look at me. Come here, come here. Let's go in the light. You're right, you're right. We turn off his um, uh, fan when you're done. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Let me tell you. You ready? Mm-hmm. We're gonna go to the movie. Yay! Are you excited? Your jacket mm -hmm. that you had on earlier is right there on the steps. Grab it. Listen, grab it and take it to Papa. He's mm -hmm. in the living room. He's off of work already. <coughs> Cover your mouth. <coughs> Before he puts on the jacket, I need you to go potty. Actually, go potty here. Up here first. It's easier for you to use um, this bathroom. Can I have <coughs> Can you have a what? Race car for Christmas. Christmas. Bubby, you just woke up and you want a race car for Christmas, and Christmas was just like last week. No, it wasn't. It was ten thousand five hundred fifty-six Christmas again. Yeah, next year. Yeah, but can I have a race car for Christmas? I'll think about it. That's a safe answer. If you are a new parent, and your children ask you for stuff, don't say yes. Don't say yeah. Don't say no. Just say, I'll think about it. It buys you time. Also buys you, in case you forget, it buys you, what's the word? It buys you, I didn't say yes. I didn't say no. I said maybe, and now it's a no. So free advice for you. So we are getting ready to go to the movies. Like I had mentioned that we were, yes, our Christmas tree is still up. I am so guilty. I'm feeling like I'm explaining it. It's only the 6th of January. This this is okay. This is not okay. My white hair is sticking out. Okay, headed to the movies. Here's how I roll. I got this big old bag with me. It has three blankets in there. One for me and Silas to cuddle with. And then the twins are going to most likely want a blanket and they don't have one. And to top that disaster of a idea off, we're going to go to the dollar store and buy candy and shove them in this bag and then go to the dollar store, which will allow us to save at least, what, $45? Bubby, if the moon is out, it's time to sleep. Oh, the sun, he's pointing to the sun on the other side. We're good to go. Dollar store first. All right, Bubby, let's get you in here. We are going to the movies. Yeah, but first, you know what the best part about going to the movies is? Guess what? Going to the Dollar Tree and getting candy. And then we can, yeah, and then we can eat them at the movie theater. I don't think this kid knows that we do that. We don't buy expensive candy at the theater unless we just happen to go and not have like the time to buy it and stuff. But we've been doing that for like years. Ryan, there. Did you hear the twins? They're all, we're gonna get popcorn too. Well, no, we can get popcorn at the theater. Hey, Zach, can we get gumballs for me? Gumballs? He doesn't even eat gum. Double, 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 uh, one, two, three, go. Oh, my. Oh. They shook. <laughs> they shook that tree and all of that stuff fell on me. We're not going to use the car. Oh, their car's still outside now? Whee! They went in and came back out. Careful. What do you have two parts? Papa works here. You guys tell me why the cashier at the dollar store was like, y'all going to the movies? <laughs> so we're not the only one. Look. Oh, and then I saved 10 cents by taking my purse in the store. This is good. I do have to reorganize everything though because there's a lot going on in my purse. The boys actually brought their backpacks and they wanted to get different blankets than the ones that I actually packed for them. So, I may give them like a few things from my backpack or from my purse. I'm gonna give the boys some of this stuff because it ain't working. Excuse me. <laughs> this is Ryan's Coke. I don't ever drink soda. The only, one of the only times that I drink soda is when we're going to the movie so I can stay awake. Oh my gosh, 
but we just left. Hi. Uh, do you mind if I check their backpack? Okay. All right, guys, we made it. Nothing was confiscated. She did check our bags. Is this wrong? It's not unlawful. Yes, it's wrong. It's unlawful for them to charge us that much. Would you guys do this? Should I feel bad? Is this okay? You gotta share a blanket, Bubby. Are you reclining? Yeah. Um, can you switch with Paya? Okay, then I need yeah, to close those this. ones would have been on that. Excuse me? Where are we at this movie feeder? Versus the last one we went to with Grandpa? Sit on your bottom, please. Mm -hmm. Because this one was playing the movie at a good time for us to be able to see it. Because you guys have school tomorrow. So over there, Malachi has taken off his shoe and he's got his blanket. This is just like our living room. They put their backpacks, they put their blankets in their backpacks. And Jonah's taking off his shoe. So I say he's got a blanket. Oh, we're out in front anyways. Oh yeah, we know what I got. Oh, you guys, that was a good movie. Silas got fidgety, so maybe next time we shouldn't come this early, but it was a good movie, huh? Federal prison, yeah. Well, now it's their bedtime. Okay. Yeah, th those are taking a nap. They're tired. We are pushing really close to bedtime, so ending this at a movie theater. I don't think I've ever ended a vlog at a movie theater before, so thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. Hey, everybody. Everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Until next time. We'll see you next time. Come on, let's go. Let's go.